this week? Well, of course, you know, last night was just outstanding. And tonight we will hear the voice of our leader, Mother Willie Mae Rivers. She will be speaking to us out of her heart, encouraging us and telling us what God wants us to know in the ministry of women. And on tomorrow morning, bright and early at 7 a.m., she will be meeting with the 49 and under young women, and we expect to see anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 women there waiting for mother to pour into them, to impart into them what God has given her, all of her mother whip. You know, when you're 15, you don't have mother whip. When you're 30, you don't have mother whip. But mother whip is when you have experience and you found out this works this way. And so mother will be imparting into these young women and teaching them and telling them and developing them for the future, not just so far away, but the future could be even tomorrow when it comes to the ministry of women. You know, that's a wonderful thing to hear and know that all that is taking place here at the Women's Convention. Tell us about some of the ministries that happen at the Women's Convention. Well, I like to say that although the women are here, they have brought some of their family, the children. Today, the children had a great activity at the water park. They're here and they're having classes, activities, because they're preparing for Friday morning to a, uh, give us what God has given them in their gifts and talents. And so they will be on display on Friday. Wow, you know, I want to introduce a wonderful and a very special friend that's here with us on tonight as well. And that's the one only Miss Vicky Wines. You were with us on last night. You really blessed us in your song, your ministry, your singing. But the testimony that you gave about the impact of Mother Rivers on your life. Ooh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. When I walked in um, and saw her sitting there in the same color that we actually buried my mother in. And everybody knows in this whole country how close all my mother's children are to her and were to her. And uh, the last picture that I seen of my mother lying in the casket had on the exact same color Mother Rivers, who I so look up to, who I had to really stand there. And as a uh, younger woman, I'm not mm -hmm. that, I'm not a, like a teenager, but I'm almost 60 years old, but she is, there is no way in the world that you can look at the life of Mother Rivers and not get the pattern that's supposed to be. It, it just does, it doesn't make any sense. My mother used to tell us, go upstairs and go, go look in the pattern box and bring me a pattern down so I can make y'all a skirt. Wow. Okay, so there is no way in the world when you got a living, walking guide pattern to holiness that you can actually sit and look at and watch and pattern yourself behind and not make it to heaven. And that's my personal opinion, and I will go to my grave saying that. I went to my grave saying that about my mother, and I think that's what hit it, hit me so hard. I, I broke into tears when I walked in and saw her sitting there in that pink, and then I went to my phone, and I looked at a picture of my mother lying in the casket in the pink, and I just had to, somebody had to help me, because I just, it, it overtook me so many, I almost couldn't even perform. So Mother River's life, um, there's no fluff in her. There's no, you know, you remember the old cars you have to used to have leeway yes, in the yes. in the in the steering wheel. You know, yes. now they got that suspension and kind of stuff they put in there. There's no leeway with her. There's no no optimism. There's no nothing with her. She's straight as an arrow, and I believe that's what I just asked her daughter. How long had she been the uh, presiding mother of the Church of God in Christ, or is she voted in? Or I, you know, I just didn't know. Yes. She's no, she's appointed. I said, well, somebody has had a whole lot of wisdom for 16 years to keep on appointing her, because there's no excuse for us not to make it in. With you know, her let pattern. me say this real quick. Everyone knows you're a businesswoman, and you do great business. You handle your own booking. You manage yourself. You make product. What words of encouragement? Because we're going to go back to Mother Bolton shortly. But what words of encouragement would you give to a young lady out there who may be a single parent? or a newlywed mother who wants to help support her family, to do positive things to support her family. And how has the Women's Convention just impacted you just being here for these last two days? Okay, the first question is, I, I'm, a, I'm a woman that loves to work. I don't believe that if you just, wherever you are, if you just look around, just turn your head around in your own house, somebody made everything you're looking at. And we do not have to get everything, I mean, just, 
I don't only just sing because I cannot, I, don't, I love multiple streams of income. If I make bracelets, I start at one beat at a time and it's going full blown. You can, Miss Fields ain't the only one can make cookies. Get up and get something done. Be that Proverbs 31 woman that will bring uh, income into your home. And I want to motiv- uh, 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 I want to uh, encourage and motivate our young people to do that because it keeps you from wanting to steal and wanting to wind up in prison and run Ponzi schemes and all the rest of this foolishness that's going on. It will make you want to do something active and positive to help meet the 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 the, inc- the uh, struggle of income in your home. Amen. Well, you and now is your second question. Yes, ma'am. That's the question. I have never come to the women's convention or as a matter of fact I've been to the convocation and conferences they always invite me here which is mind boggling to me that I just I think it's so great it's, it's an honor but I usually have to run you know I have to sing that night and go but this time I was asked to stay a couple of days and, and I'm here and what I saw tonight I, I mean it's just mind boggling to see all these look like a hundred thousand people out here and white it's just like oh my god we going to heaven tonight So it's very, very impactful to women everywhere to be a part of something so organized and so precious and done so well. And they march with the banner. I'm saying, I'm I'm just with pride that they love Jesus. It's great. Thank you very much, Ms. Vicky Wannings, everyone. We're going to hear from Mother Bogan just shortly. You can give right now online. There's a link right there. You can give. You can donate to the ministry of the Women's Department, all the wonderful and exciting great things that Mother Willie Mae Rivers is doing across America and even around the world. Some of you out there may be watching our program right now. You may be going through some issues in your life, some personal challenges. Christ is the answer to every broken home. Anything you may be going through, God can bless you right where you are. I'm going to ask Mother Bogan just to speak a word of encouragement, offer a word of prayer, even salvation for those of you who are watching. Don't forget, we love your support here at the Church of God in Christ. It goes towards missions. Had a chance to spend some time with Mother Rivers last night, and she continued to speak to me. We're here to focus on mission, the mission of reaching women, impacting their lives. Mother Bogan, what word of encouragement or even offering salvation and a special prayer to the people out there watching us right now? Well, I want to really speak to the 49 and under to say if you are experiencing trauma and issues and challenges in your life, you need to meet us tomorrow morning. If you're in this Orlando area, meet us tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. at the Rosen Center Hotel in the junior ballroom on the mezzanine floor. I guarantee you the Lord will bless you. He will answer your prayer. Mother Rivers will be there to encourage you and to guide you in the way you should go. She is our modern day Deborah. She's a leader. She is Esther because she is obedient to the word of the Lord. She is Lydia because she's a businesswoman. And she is like Mary because she is humble and meek. And so therefore we're saying to you, come and enjoy the Lord with us the rest of the week. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these, your people who are watching here, streaming. God, you're not doing this just by happenstance, but God has guided you. It is the providence of God that you have tuned in tonight to hear this great word. And so God, we're asking you to break up the fallow ground and prick their hearts and give them a mind to come to you, God, and give them a mind to do the things that you have them to do in this world, to be good citizens, good mothers. Yes, to be good friends to someone, associates, and to be good wives. We're asking God to bless you on today and encourage your heart, give you strength, and take you through for the rest of your life. God bless you. God bless you. Don't forget to join us here tomorrow night live. We've got a very special guest coming on, on tomorrow night. Email me at, at sharris at kojic.org. That's sharris at kojic.org. We're going to do a special tribute to the AIM convention and the other conferences for our seasoned saints who are 90 years old and up. Email me right now. We're going to shout out to the churches on tomorrow night, everything and much more. Purchasing tapes and DVDs of the services available right here online or live here at the convention. We've got a special program on tomorrow night. Until tomorrow night, God bless you. I'm Brother Steve, live from Orlando, Florida, from the International Women's Convention of the Church of God in Christ. We'll see you on tomorrow night. The vision is that the Memphis campus be second to none for the Church of God in Christ. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. in the Waikwa room, number six, the Board of Bishops will be meeting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. 